Wildlife conservationists are helping restore a vital food source for Florida's most beloved marine mammal. WPTV News Channel 5's Josh Novato tagged along to see those efforts firsthand. Along the banks of the Loxahatchee River in Martin County, eelgrass restoration is underway. Kyle Johnson and his team of five are planting it in these exclusion cages to prevent it from getting eaten. There are 15 of them along the river. In total planted, there will be at least 40,000 eelgrass plants. It is the latest effort in restoring the habitat and one that will provide a food source for area manatees. So these plants right here is our potted plants. And originally they were just four plants and after two months of growing you can see all of the fresh plants growing off. And it's just like the grass in your yard. They have rhizomes, so they grow underground and they grow through and continue to recolonize the area. There are seven restoration sites along the Indian River Lagoon. The Loxahatchee River is the first one receiving plants today after fundraising efforts by the Fish and Wildlife Foundation of Florida. What we've seen the last two winters is they are choosing to come to the warm water areas again despite the loss of seagrass. So it's really important that we restore that food source. Recently, there has been a high mortality rate among manatees due to starvation. Harmful algae blooms is a primary cause in recent years. Basically what happens is um, they get so dense that they uh, get all the sunlight first and seagrasses need a lot of light. And after a few weeks of that, they'll start to die. And then once they die, it's really hard for them to come back. So our hopes is to get this in such a large area, get such a numerous amount that they can actually come back and eat back here healthily. Biologists will be back out planting on Friday and will continue north along the Indian River Lagoon. In Martin County, I'm Josh Navarro, WPTV News Channel 5.